Hoping to get some studying done, you head to the Duran common room. Only there's too much ruckus in the common room for you to get any work done today. Everyone seems to be in here, and the place is simply packed. People are screaming, cheering, yelling, laughing, and otherwise causing a scene. Some of the students in the room are trying to talk over one another. There's not even a place to sit at the moment, much less study. Furthermore, you're not exactly sure what is going on. Maybe there's a fight or some unspeakable horror, like a spell that makes people go insane. Or maybe it's nothing and you should go find somewhere else to study. Either way, you need to get some work done and you can't do that with all this noise. Flawless timing. Go to the library. Intimidation. Bully the other students into quieting down. Or interrogation. What's going on? Uh, let us go with flawless timing. Go to the library. Frustrate at everyone and everything around you. You pack up your supplies and head for the library where it's much quieter. Maybe now you can get some work done. I'm sorry to think that might not be the right choice. You're looking forward to the big hide-and-seek game in honor of the Festival of the Promised Road. Sure, you're getting a bit old for the whole Dragons vs. Non-Dragons game, but it's fun, so why not keep playing while you still can? The game begins and you soon realize that your uh, hiding place behind a far tree isn't as secluded as you've told it be. What do you do? Uh, scouting, where else can I hide? You try to think of alternate hiding locations, a tree really isn't going to work. After some brainstorming, you decide to move to one of the gardener's shed. Uh, you should be okay nestled inside there for a while. Okay. Let's try infiltration. You have to figure out how to get from the tree to the gardener's shed. You take a furtive glance around your hiding perimeter and see no members of the opposite team approaching. Now's your chance. You duck low and attempt to jaunt from your old to new location. Unfortunately, it looks like you went wrong about the coast being clear and members of the opposite team was lurking and managed to tag you when you were on the run. Game over, man. All right. I kind of want to revert a save and see if we were supposed to do more with that uh, adventure instead of going to the library. But uh, let's see. Study Habits is 10. We've also learned about uh, lip reading. Nothing there. And move silently. Let's see, Tulula's uh, competed, honors facts, you see at using Hangout uh, inside of the college with herself and me. That's interesting. Duran, de de Duran succeeded at using compete. You decreased your stress by two. You decreased your infiltration skill by one. You gained office hours and you have gained teach. Uh, let's see if anyone did anything interesting, but I'm actually wondering... Hmm. Okay, hold on. This is what we're going to do. Rune. Uh. Quick save. Okay, and then we're going to hit load a game. Because I saved right before that adventure. Um, started. So let us see if maybe we can do some stuff differently i have to fill this back in are you serious uh, this was a bad idea <laughs> i've now decided this is a bad idea all right let's try this adventure again that's not what i expected to happen uh you were walking through the streets of town browsing the shops and people watching when someone taps you on your shoulder you look up and up and up to see a very large man causing an eclipse, at least over the area where you are standing. He is staring at a piece of paper with a confused expression on his face. Perhaps he needs help? You ask the big man what the problem is and he tells you his name is Ugo and he is on a scavenger hunt. 
If he wins, he gets candy, but he isn't sure where to find some of the things on the list. He, sh- he says, one thing I need is lead shoes. Do you know where to get lead shoes? Um, let's look at this list. Because either this guy's a m- mobster, and he's going to go kill someone. Because <laughs> isn't that what lead shoes is? Like, you throw them in the river so they can't come back up with, like, heavy shoes? Like, well, I mean, like, you put, like, uh, cement blocks or something on them. Whatever. Let's just... Why am I talking about this? Let's just look at the list. You ask if you can see the list so that you might help, and he gently hands you a sheet of thin paper. The top of the page is marked with a crest of the Thieves' Guild. Is this guy actually a thief? Below that, in a very neat and easy-to-read block writing, is the following list. Rope. Feed sack. Lead shoes. Gloves. Handkerchief. Gloves have been crossed out. You glance over the list for a few seconds before you notice some smudges at the bottom of the page. You look closely at the smudges and soon realize there are words that have bled through from something being written on a page placed over the top of this one. You can barely make out the following script. It says, Remove Jorgen Loranera. That's the captain of the city guard. That, along with the items list, makes you think that the captain may be in danger. Even if Ugo doesn't seem capable of hurting a fly, he is busy licking chocolate off his fingers as you read the list. Someone in the Thieves' Guild must be dangerous. Social skills. Notify Captain Leonor of the threat. I pronounced that terribly. I, I would go so far to say I didn't even pronounce anything at all. After looking at his list and seeing what was written the smudges at the bottom, you decide that the captain of the guard needs to know about a threat on his life. You tell Ugo that there is a feed shop just around the corner where he can get the feed sack, and probably some rope, too. He shuffles away thanking you for your help. You go down the street to the main guard office and tell the death sergeant that you need to speak to the captain you explain what you saw on the bottom of the list Ugo was holding, but the death sergeant tells you that nobody would be crazy enough to show that to a kid anyway. He tells you that the captain has more important things to do than listen to a half-baked stories from a kid and sends you on your way. Well, I hope you die now. <laughs> That's not nice to say. Okay, so this was the... Alright. Well... If that's the case, what we're going to do is go back to our old save. So I hope you enjoyed this alternate universe because I thought the first one was the actual uh, festival thing. So we're just going to hit stay put. This holiday is more about uh, is more about than the game. You're also supposed to be uh, in your freedom. The sooner you get tagged out, the sooner you can relax. So let us go back to the quick save. I hope you enjoyed the alternate universe we almost lived in. I still don't think I chose the right option for that uh, Durand common room adventure. But whatever. We live with our mistakes. Okay, so school survival, study habits, all done. Okay, I'm going to use the reminder sheet, which we're going to use on dedication, which is under plot. Because dedication is going to be the main thing we need for uh, Prudence's adventure. And we have to raise that up quite a bit. All right, let's see. Uh, We did the reminder sheet. Dedication is now 12. Uh, nothing really happened today. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Melacresta successfully casts Ursula's Differentiator on all spells. A four-point bonus to all subsequent spells. All right. Pretty good. I wonder what Melacresta is up to. Everyone else looked like they pretty much just studied. Okay, so for Saturday... We are going to cast a spell. I don't know if we've done this before, but um, 
I guess I'll show it off again if we haven't. So what I want is Adela's wardrobe. So this will increase uh, aesthetics, confidence, and courtly fashions by one. Now that's not what we need, but we can add themes to it to make to get what we actually want. It will just make this spell more difficult. So right now the spell is green. We are going to add a theme called the loyalty theme, I believe, which will raise dedication and befriend by one. And I'm going to put three, which makes it blue now. Now what's annoying is I go, I have to go down this list every time to get there. So if we do four, it becomes black. I'm quite comfortable going with the uh, the blue option here, and that will give me three points. If we successfully do the spell, it will give me three points into dedication. So we're at 12, that will be 15. So what we're going to do is cast that spell again with the same amount of themes. And it might be a little bit um, overkill. But in case like we fail doing one of the spells, hopefully one of them will go through. And let me also double check. We did the reminder sheet. And there's another spell here called Reveal Flaw, I believe. Let me double check that. Yeah, Reveal Flaw. The Reveal Flaw spell grants three points bonus to all the caster spells abilities and actions for two days but only if the caster succeeds at a difficult insight glamour roll so i'm assuming if i if i cast a spell i'll get a bonus to actions in or actions abilities those are two different things here uh that, that might actually not help us I wonder if I do this first. I would have a better chance at succeeding at these two. Okay. Yeah. No. So actions are actions. These things. Abilities are abilities. I was, for some reason in my head, I was thinking actions and abilities being uh, the options we have when we do adventures. But I don't think that's what's happening here. So what we're going to do is go to Dell's wardrobe <laughs> and do it a third time. And hopefully one of these will work. Was it loyalty? Yes. Oh, three. And if they all work, we're going to be very prepared for this next part. Increase dedication. Increase befriend. So yeah, that's what this looks like. Oh, I wonder if we can go to a location that will increase um, doing spells. What's the role? Insight Glamour. But yeah, actually, going to the Glamour room might be smart. Because I will get... Uh, we'll note a two-point increase to their Theory of Glamour skill, but only while in the classroom itself. That may not help, actually. I was hoping that would be glamour in general rather than just glamour theory. Uh, well, I could go through all these or I can just not care. <laughs> all right. Hopefully today goes well and to make sure it goes well, we're saving. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be safe scumming, but whatever. All right, let's do Saturday. This is a bit overkill. <laughs> uh, Sorello stops you in the hallway as you go from class to class. He holds up a single silver coin. Heads or tails, he acts. Um, okay. Your luck, heads. <laughs> or you don't care. Eh, I'd rather play along, even if we'll fail. You got it, he says. The coin spins in the air. He catches it, and when he sets it down on the back of his hand, tails. You both stare. 
I love being me, he announces, and then goes on his way. Okay. Good talking to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, we successfully cast all three. Um, our dedication is now 21. <laughs> Uh, it's only for a couple days, though. Right? How many days is this? Four days. So that's really good. Let's see. Dedication, befriend, befriend, dedication, befriend. Portly fashion, come, yeah. So what's my befriend skill? 19. Okay, so this is a bit overkill. We just needed 16. But, um... Hey! We're gonna get through that, uh... The last section of Prudence is pretty easy, I think. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. Jar uh, hung out with me, which is nice. Uh, Kurt hung out with me, which is nice. They're from the same... They're from the same clique. Interesting. And Honors uh, competed and got us back to six points of... Uh, Points. That's pretty good. Oh, and me and Shrillo is uh better friends because he won flipping a coin. Okay, sure. Anyone do anything interesting? Uh, Netta is doing some plotting but did not succeed at it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that looks about it. All right. Okay, so for today, we're definitely going to do the adventure. Um, I'm debating if I want to raise other skills. I mean, I should be raising skills in general, but the ones I could be raising would be, um, what is it? What what is it on the revision? Revision, yes. So I need to raise revision. Uh. In general, up to 16. No, no, it's revision themes and revision spells. I believe they both have to be like 16. Double checking here. 16 or 15. Which isn't great. But if we raise it up to like 10 and use a spell like we did today, we might be able to do it without having to sacrifice a member for future... Um, future things. So, yeah, you know what? I am gonna have a study revision. So, library long shade, library long shade. Do one of each, and then go on a venture. And guess who didn't write down the name for the next adventure with, uh, Prudence? Awesome. Oh. Here we go. Meeting Madness with Prudence. I should save. I've been, I've been saving a lot. But I should save. <laughs>